In these problems, we are factoring quadratics, and we've got a number that we can factor out first. And this is actually pretty easy. We're just going to factor out some common number factor from all the terms, and then go ahead and factor what's left the way we're used to. In this case, each of these terms is divisible by 5, so I can factor out a 5. So let's take a 5 and put it outside of our parentheses, and then let's divide each term by 5. 5w five squared divided by 5 leaves just w squared. Negative 45w divided by 5, well, five, uh, 45 divided by 5 is 9, so that's a negative 9w. And then 70 divided by 5, that is 14. Now, we can probably factor what's left pretty easily. Uh, let's see, we have a negative number in the middle and a positive number out here. That means both of the, the terms are going to have a minus. So I'm going to have w, well, I've got my 5 still. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to have w minus something and w minus something. And the some things need to multiply out to positive 14 and add up to negative 9. Let's see. Well, 2 times 7 is 14. If they're both negative, a negative 2 and a negative 7, that would add up to negative 9. So these are my factors. And here's the whole thing. 5 times w minus 2 times w minus 7. Let's try that one more time for practice. In this one, you'll notice we have every term divisible by 4. So let's take a 4 out. And that would leave just y squared on the first term. 12 divided by 4, that'd be 3y and 72. Uh, that's 18, so minus 18. All right, so there we've, we've factored out our constant. Let's see if we can uh, factor the rest of this here, this quadratic part. Um, We've got a negative out here and a positive here, so one's going to be negative. So let's put our 4 here, and then we're going to have a y plus and a y minus. That's the only way to get a negative number here is to have different signs here. And we want to add up to a positive 3. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. If I put a positive 6 and a negative 3, that would add up to a positive 3. So there are my factors, 4 times y plus 6 times y minus 3. So that is a little bit of practice with factoring out a constant before you factor a quadratic.